seen some of the good works that God has been able to do through yeah. you. So, um, but for sometimes many people will have been asking that who is the brain behind this ministry? Who is doing all these wonders? So, can you briefly tell us about you and how you were and how the whole thing started? Uh, I want to give grace uh, on the name of the Lord. I'm not the brain behind uh, this ministry. I want to give honor to the Almighty God, the owner of this ministry is the owner. Okay. Uh, I want to give him honor. I want to appreciate him for choosing a, a mere servant like me. The, I was just a mere man. And, uh, there was a day I had a dream and I met an old man that told me that he wanted to send me an error. And he said, but those people, the so-called pastor, they have disappointed me. They have honored themselves instead of him that I should go and preach about his own name. That I should tell the people who to preach because he can never see the glory. But as he was following me, I was moving, I was speedily moving, but he was moving on the air. He wasn't running from, he wasn't using his foot to run. He was moving on the air. And I lay down as an strength is handful, and the fire come from the heaven, come upon me. Never since then I began to be speaking in tongues. I began to perform signs and wonder. He told me, you will send me in another. When the power came, and before then I had a revelation as well, and I saw an angel. And that angel said he wanted to take me to a place. And I was moving to him and he said he wanted to show me something. And there was a garden of a pastor. There were many. There were many and I saw bees. When I saw the bees, the bees was coming one one on one. And the bees, they were killing the bees. The pastor was, and I said, that's very good. Who knows of you? Who knows of you? And that again told me that you should silence. And I remained silent. Later on, I saw them in multitude. They were many. When they were coming out, they were tearing them apart. They would tear them apart. They were killing all the pastors. And I was like, baffled, what is happening? I'm missing what is happening. They were killing them. I said, God, can you save them? And he told me that, look at them. Look at the so-called pastor. They don't have power. He said, you now go back to the world. Go and tell the world that this set of people, they don't have power. You should go and ask for the power that overcome them. Power that scatter the garden of the devil. Because many of my pastors, many of my servants, they were killed. They were turning back because they did not look for me. He gave me such a revelation. He now told me hey, that I will send you an error. You have to kick against false revelations, false doctrine. You have to tell them to preach about me, to speak about me. And I woke up. I never knew of that because I had my own plan. I never thought of... Uh, uh, becoming uh, the pastor. Ever since then, when I lay hand upon someone, they will begin to speak in the tongue. Uh, the dead, the, 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 the divine will regain their sight, and the dead will, yes. will, will receive the spirit of the living. So many, so many things I can. Let me talk about a few out of it. There was a day they brought uh, someone to us on the mountain. Yes, he couldn't walk. Yes, he couldn't walk. He was. He has been. Uh, they have put in the system on our body because they have took her to several places. And when they brought her, the Lord told me that I look at her and I've healed her and I told her, "Do you believe that God has healed your, your daughter?" I said, "I said, can you give your life to Jesus Christ?" Because the one that comes and said, "The power I give to you, you have to preach about my name whenever you want to deliver the people." Tell them that I am a God of white corner. That is how he appears to me, as a God of white corner. He said, I am the one that created everything. And I said, Christ Jesus, that you, do, you don't have any other way except Jesus Christ. He appeared to me on several occasions. And, uh, and I said, you believe? And, uh, and I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, you daughters, stand up and be walking. And I said, lift her up. She started walking. She started walking. And people were like, amazed. And he, and he told me that I've just started. Let me, an occasion they brought someone from a, 
in a Luji site. It's a young gun of uh, age, uh, age 30 upward. In 30 upward. When she when when he came, he said when immediately he graduated. When he immediately graduated, uh, and he wanted to be deployed to NYC mm -hmm. camp of his things and he ran mad. Mm -hmm. mad. And he has been suffering from a chronic madness for eight years, more than eight years. When they brought they have took her to they have took him to several places to say they have uh, instructed them or let him when, when they came and I wanted to they said there was a particular person in our, in our area they brought he said he, he collected a lot and I prayed for them for uh, for him and I said in the name of Jesus Christ let the spirit of madness live immediately and it gave his sense when they got home they said whenever you want to eat before he, he can eat a pot a pot of food and it will still be demanding for more more and he will not talk he will hold his hand like this whenever he will eat and he will return the hand on his hands uh, immediately we pray for him he regained the science and he could not eat anymore when they, they said he could not eat he only eat a small food i said there is a spirit that is yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. to him there was an on the case we went for a crusade in Ido Ibadan. there is a popular woman called Bosse woman called Bosse Bosse she, she ran mad uh, it will be 25 years of madness. When we are singing, inviting people for a crusade, we met ah, since sister beside a big church, popular church. And the Lord told me, look at her and I've eat her. And I moved to her and I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord said, yes, you, you the spirit of insanity, live. Ah, and I pray for her. And she said, where am I? Where am I? And we pray for our sister in Modaike now with our area pastor. And occasion a situation happens. There, there is one of our members uh, and he has uh, a son and the son died. They brought him to the mountain dead. He, was, he, he, became, he became black. When he died he be, he, the, the body changed. When they brought him the Lord told me that this is what I have done. And I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the spirit of uh, living enter him. And, and he woke up. The same thing applicable to a someone called Bola. I was coming to a mountain when I met a dead corpse placed on a Monday. They covered her uh, eyes with a clothes. When I got there, and I discovered that she has been dead. They were crying. And I said, why? And, the, and the, a prophecy came out. The Lord said, ask them whether they believe I can do it. And I directed the question to you, to them. That the Lord said, do you believe and I can do it? And they said, ah, and if the Lord do it, we'll be able to worship him. And I said, brought her. Brought her. When they brought her and I started praying, he said, no. Page, we see part of it. He said, In the name of Jesus Christ, let the spirit of the living come upon her. And he came. She began to speak. She began to speak. I said, and then, let me talk about well, two or three months. There's someone that has cancer. Cancer of the breast, to be precise. Is it? Cancer of the breast. Rejected from the hospital, they said he should be treating now that she will still go to die. And I said, we normally use the blood of Jesus Christ. And when we prayed over the water, and we said, this water, I turn the water to the blood of Jesus Christ, and I prayed over it, and I pour the water on now. And, uh, and uh, the cancer disappeared. We cannot talk about uh, those who, do, who have been waiting for a child for long. You see those who, uh, the kidney transplant. Or art that transplants, though their heart has poised to make some feel out of it. So, sir, we've seen some people, some pastors, that when the Holy Spirit called or appeared to them that this is the way, this is where you're going to do, and this is what I want you to do for me. Some of them decline and they face the route of God and they face the music. But in your own situation, when you were called, did you 
answer immediately or what are the things what are the challenges uh, let me start by saying this actually i've been seeing faces that i don't want to use for but i'm a kind of person who doesn't like even like pastors uh, work uh, right here from my what were you doing what were you doing before, before you I, 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 I am a, a, a graduate of two schools but i don't like to be mentioned um, uh, that I like to be talking about uh, Christ when I, I read the economics in my next in my in university days in OAU, I graduated from economics. I read economics. And then I I wanted to be travel because I opened to, I was like an agent who okay. processing travel, travel agents, agents. Okay. for people. I do it for people and I have office and I also have an office where I'm doing uh, these uh, runs of the things. Uh, when, when the people come, a uh, few centers and some other okay, things. Centers, uh, okay. Okay. I have secretaries and all that. But when the situation come, uh, here in Lagos or outside? Uh, uh, yeah. Outside the Lagos, in the yeah, state, in the state, state, in Modaike, to okay, be precise. Okay. I wanted to be. I wanted to. Are be, you from Modaike? Uh, I can. I'm a free. I'm from uh, Jerusalem. I'm a from because I belong to everybody now. <laughs> I'm from Jerusalem. I'm from Nigeria. I belong to everybody now. Uh, he, 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 uh, he, from Jerusalem, born, uh, raised in Nigeria. And you, you have to be precise. I'm sorry, you are trying to, you are trying to, you don't even to know your, your place of birth. My place of birth? Mm. My parents, I can only say my parents come from Morake. The parents that born me from the flesh. So you are from Murakai. Uh, I'm, from from <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not from Murakai. I'm from. I'm from. So before you answer the call, the call. Uh -huh. uh, there was a day when I was in Osubu. I just discovered that uh, I had a block of the eyes. I could not see. Mm -hmm. I could not see anything, and uh, and I don't know what happened. And I was like praying when I had a revelation when the Lord told me. That I should go to some places, uh, uh, hospital, and there was a strike. And I went there, I met some group of people that refer to themselves as a copper. I could not see, I use anything, and they recommended the drug for me. And I came, I bought that drug, maybe I should, I use it. I went back to the doctor, I couldn't find the person, they said they could not see the traces of him. And uh, I regained my sight. In short, later, but I normally see Jesus Christ appear to me on the dream. Mm -hmm. There was a day I was sleeping and I, I slept when I saw someone came and I, I could hear people calling Rabbi, Rabbi, Master, and he was calling them Peter, Peter, uh, Andrew, Matthew, mention such a name. I did not know just what is the meaning of Rabbi. Well, because I'm less concerned about that. I'm praying that I want to travel out. You are very <laughs> revelation about uh, Rabbi, Rabbi, whatsoever. I do and, uh, and I said, I'm, um, I'm not interested in that. I slept in my room, and uh, he spit with me up that as you go outside, and I went outside, and I sat on a, a last year's, when someone we have stayed, we left together, we have stayed together before, came with a cutlass. He wanted to behead me. Uh, when he got inside to my room, he couldn't find me there, and he met me outside. As he was using the colors to want to be head me, I used my hand to hold the colors. He cut every dancing my hand here and some other thing. And the, the, the blood was galloping. The Lord was in love. They rushed me down to the hospital. Uh, they rejected me, and the hospital, and, uh, the one that uh, later, uh, say, the, the one that lay, the one that later called me inside. And they, they did some work and they couldn't get anything. My work was, uh, my hand was not working. Mm -hmm. My hand was, two of my hand was not working. When I discovered that I could not use it for anything, I went, I had, maybe I should do surgery. I go back to uh, seven days Adventist. They said they will, they will have to work on it, but they told me that it's 50-50, that they are not sure. They have never done such things before. Uh, and I said, no problem. And the Jesus Christ appeared to me as a student worry that the operation will be successful. And I said, let me try OAU teaching hospital, that the federal hospitals will be able to have 
in materials, in equipment. That is, when I got there, they, when they saw it, they carry out some tests. They are teaching us people to carry out some tests. And they told me that it's too soon. They said, there is, this one is a particular soul. I cannot bend this. I cannot bend this. He said, if they want to have it, they are, they are, they are, they are. here, two of these, apart from this, I cannot bend it then. He said, I cannot bend it. Uh, they said there is another particular soul. They have never done it before. He said, it's, it's 50, 50, 50. And they, and they now told me that, do you still want to go ahead? And I told them, there is no problem. And the Christ appeared to me that said, I shouldn't worry, I should go ahead. And I went on that surgery. When I went on surgery, they did it seven hours. We started by seven, seven, or eight, seven, we did it of six or We started by seven. It was around there, uh, around six o'clock before they completed, uh, completed yeah. the, the, the surgery. Later on, after I woke up, I went to them. They, they later told me that you still have to do amendments for you because you are unable to finish it. You only work on one song, but they were unable to finish it. They said after three months that they put some certain things inside. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I was like, you said you will finish it. Why will you put something by, on my hand? You do pull up. But, and I realized that they said they have not, never done it before. They want to use me for a practice. And I carried out the surgery. And after three months, I went back. They did it. Uh, physiotherapist a lot. I was unable to still bend it. But during that during that time, and I was it was then I started to know that it's God that is calling me. He had been revealing more revelation to me. And I started reading Bible. Started reading Bible, and in my office everything started burning. And I were I was processing. Uh, I processed Canada. I want to travel out then I, and we work uh, we ask, uh, two in number and I processed it for someone from Ore. They gave him uh, the confirmation letter. He traveled. I was expecting it since I processed this. We are putting it together and I had a, a revelation that you are going nowhere mm. because you have to work for me. Mm. And they rejected it and I said I will try uh, my tech in the USA because I have someone there. I would try it and he invited me and I said, I, I, I said, if I'm not going for, he invited me and I said, I will go there. Before then, I had a revelation. I saw where I will land the person that will come and take me. On the, when the interview is second day, I said I should travel to, come, to travel to come down to Lagos. And I, and the, I, I stay in Baden. Maybe in the early morning, I will be going. <laughs> I, in short, I got there, I had an interview by 12, I got there around 2 o'clock, uh. it was a busy schedule, <laughs> I, an incident happened that I cannot be explained, it about the, in a lot, so that interview, I had a revelation, I saw a woman that came to me, said, look at this woman, and I look at her and I said, this is the person that will reject you, that will nullify your applications, because I don't want you to go. When I woke up, I started praying. The Lord rejected these visions. It is not mine. The Lord has planned. It has already been planned and He has done it. And I started kicking against it. There's something like that. When I got there, they interviewed me. When I got to the woman, and they told me that this is the woman I showed to you. Now you saw the woman. You like I saw. Ah, it's one of the white people. The white there at embassy here in Lagos. She's there. Those people now have seen on my dream, and I also. So then, when I got uh, those people before me, I implicated them because they rejected every one of them. Mm. And those, the four people after me, they rejected them also. Mm. He directed the question to me, what well, can I can, can we can I meet you? I said, I introduced myself. What are you doing for a living? I said, What do you want to do? As I said, repeat yourself. And he repeated as I answered the questions. Yeah. Just give me a rejection letter. <laughs> and I was like, cursing her. I was like, I will curse her. Then, and the spirit came to me. Don't curse her. I used her. I felt somehow, I felt dejected. And I took my way back to when I was coming, I faced some certain challenges. I, my clothes tears 
And I was going back to us and I needed to sleep in the garden. That's part of uh, the little experience uh, I had. When I got home, everything was disappeared. And I said, what should I be doing? And I still, I stay inside, going to the mountain, be praying, be praying, seeking for God. Face, it was then the, the man appeared to me that I've been calling you. I want to send you an error. And he revealed a revelation to me. Many revelations sent me to the people. When I got some, I discovered that he sent me to several people, several prophets. And I said, ah, if, suppose now I go, I went to U.S. or other, that means I, will, I, I could have been an unprofitable child of God because of many revelations given to me and uh, uh, how it has been working. So, um, as a travel agent, and um, who has a uh, different, different business you are like doing, like the V Center and all that, and you are being called by God. When you are finally accepted the calling, what was the, how was the reaction of people that knew you as a travel agent? And people, do they quickly accept you like that? that is it not also the person that I know? Now he's calling himself a pastor. Okay. How was the reaction of a family member? And okay, I like that person. I like that. Uh, actually, I face a little challenges. But I don't refer to them as a challenges. It's just a way to success. Um, before, I have some certain gifts in me. Even right from my, my secondary school days, I used to see a dream revelation and some other thing, but I didn't then I didn't follow it. But those people, before then, they knew me as those people who open a, a betting center. There are many people that knew me. They knew me as a teacher. Because I was as an educationist, they knew me as an teacher. But when the incident, incident, incident happened, the power came naturally. Natural. The power, the power was there, but then I didn't, no, I didn't know how to use it. But when the power came, I was like singing, I was singing, clapping. When the spirit of God came upon me, I began to speak in tongue. I began to prophesy. When I lay hand upon people, they began to prophesy, and they and they, I began to eat. Uh, clean the lepers, uh, eat the people, and some miracles like that, delivered messages for people. Many kick against it that uh, this cannot be the power of the law. But when the spirit came upon me, he said, I should, I should go out and challenge every other power. That was why I moved to the market, kick against them that there is no power in the world. If you have power, shoot arrow. Many, we went to the market, I went to the hydro places trying to try, challenge their power, preach against the 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 doctrine, the, 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 the preach against the founder. Many revelations were referring to me about Allah's, about Ori Manades, uh, past leaders, and um, uh, and so forth, uh, uh, and a present leader. I received many revelations. There was a problem. And they, 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 they gathered, they gang up against us, speaking against us. And they used police, they used money, but the, the law was on my, on my side. Before we get to the, uh, to the police station, the law could have been there. If they pay DCO, the law will adjust the mind of DPO for us. DPO for us. And then in the family, my, fa my father is an elder in the one church before. He's a spirit fish. Man, but not as fit as I expected because it was like someone who was who is afraid. Him. When the Lord gave me a message, before I was giving him some little idea, telling him, but I received no knowledge from anybody because I will see the spirit of the Lord. I normally see some strange uh, creatures, strange creatures like angels, like the old man I uh, spoke about. The mouth white, gray uh, ear, and you can only see his uh, face. They will be talking to me. He will be telling me what to do. If I want to, if I, if you are explaining something about dream, they will take, they will take me to your dream, and I will be know what you are. The dream you are having, and how the dream went, uh, 
went. Mm. Uh, um, the, uh, I, 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 I wish she is. I will know what is happening. And uh, when I refer a revelation to my father, and he said, Ah, this revelation is conk. Please don't cause people. Because then, if there, is, if there will be rain, and I said, Lord, there won't be rain, the rain will stop. I, when we went for a crusade, and uh, there was a time where for, to, for a crusade in Israel, and there are some certain set of people who refer to themselves as Oboni Comfortality. And they said, we are kicking against them, there is no Oboni Comfortality, there is no witches, there is no devil, there is, in fact, there is no fetish. If you have anything, silence me. If you have listened to interview, our interview, you could have seen it. When I came to LTP, I said it that if there is anyone who has power, it should shoot an arrow. That is, I present my body to the whole world. Let them shoot an arrow. Because the person, the, the, uh, my masters, the one who was this corner told me that there is no power in heaven and the earth except the power of the, the God of white corner. That's why I challenge them. My very, my father didn't, on the first instance, accept it, accept it. It was like, I should be bending it. Mm -hmm. It to be that I should not deliver the message. I should let God send those people. Um, and I narrated the scenario to him. I told him, you are my father in, the, in this world. He said, but now you now send me an error. And I said, you should send another person. How will you feel? I'm not talking about the creators, the one who was me before you. That's why I face a little challenges there. But people quickly come and uh, come because they see the natural power of God. We preach the true gospel, the raw. We silence the others. We I deliver out many messages to the others, to the traditional ruler, to the pastors. We touch every ramifications of the life. That was why, uh, because the God of white honey has perfected. Is work already. Thank, thank God you said the God of white corn. What do you mean by uh, what do you mean by you, mean at, you know we have orthodox, we have Pentecostal. Yes. As you, you are saying God of white corn. So how can we describe your own uh, ministry? How do you, where do you belong? Is uh, it the... Are you a Pentecostal? Are you a CSC? Or, or, I don't know the meaning of white. Uh, God of white corn. You are even wearing white. So say they wear white. You do wear white. You belong to CAC. You belong to Pentecostal. So, Let's know your denomination. I like that. I belong to God, the Creator, the one that created heaven and the earth. His name is, when we say God of white color, is God without blemish. Mm -hmm. uh, that God that created everything. He appeared to me that God that created everything. When you're talking about uh, Pentecostals nowadays, they are different. We deliver a message to them. Many of them, they were they focus on worldly things. They want to achieve many things. They want to be where God did not put them into. They have they have gone astray. But when the, the man that came, to, the, the, the the creatures of heaven and earth that came to me said, "You are going to kick against the false doctrine." He said, "They are proclaiming themselves. They did not proclaim me." He said, "Kick against anybody." Should not, we should not use any other name except the name of Jesus as, as it has been written in the book of Philippians chapter 2 as name. That the Lord has exalted him and has given him every other name that has mentioned the name of the Lord every name is about. When he told me, he said, look at those people. We are different from Celestials. Okay. This white garment, only pastor wearing this in our church. Yeah. Only pastor. If you if you could see the way we, we showed it, it's very different. It's very different. We have our own we have our own doctrine. He gave us the commandments. In our church, there are something you there are certain things you should not do. There are certain things you must do. We our own church, uh, the so many is the work he gives to us. He said, when you deliver them, introduce me to them. Any member of this corner, when you join this corner, the Lord will assign some certain gifts for you. You can you can heal, you can pray for the people, you can do deliverance, you can silence, which is, is for every members in this country once you join the ministry. And uh, another difference, in, when I say we have our own doctrine, in this country, you should not commit adultery. If you commit adultery, the angels of God will come to you, they will suspend you, and you will be punished. That's all. No matter how, how big you are, we have some certain pastors in our church, 
before you have been seeing them as a person, they have been suspended. When you see person that are left at our church, they have been suspended because they cannot go with the law given to us by God, Christ himself, that you should not lie. When you refer to yourself as a pastor and you are committing adultery, recently a, a, a case happened. A pastor sleeping with the church member and he, we suspended him and he left the church. Immediately suspended, they suspend you, the angels of God will appear to you, they will withdraw the gifts given to you. And in our church, you should not speak when the Lord is not speaking. Is a church that we center on the face of the law. If you want, supposing now the Lord call me home now, the church doesn't belong to me. My my family will not inherit anything from the church. I'm a pastor. Oh, I'm a pastor, but I didn't collect a cup from the church. First. We have those who are collecting money. We have many of us who are part time work. The Lord is the one that's paying me, and I'm paying my tithes too. I'm paying it. If you should not prophesy, you should not speak when the Lord is not speaking. And when the Lord sends you an error, you must be able to know that God of white calling is with you. He will always go after you. That, that's, the, we have, that's the difference between us. We can go to markets. We can, you can see anyone. Silent the witches. Silent the devil. Silent. Go on here. There, there is no any other power in the world except the power of the Lord. That's why what you have been seeing us doing. You have seen us in uh, this IFLS shows. Uh, uh, two, call out two souls and uh, some other people like that, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, people have come to interview us and uh, and the Lagos is the business suits. Okay, thank you, my prophet. I'm called pastor, I'm called prophet because of the wonder God has been using you to do on this end. So, I want to know, I want to, you to tell us how would you describe your life between then and now? I'm talking about when you are in the world yes. now. You are another world, another God world. How will you describe your life compared to when you are in the world? What I can How do you see your life now? What I can only say that the one you know before has died for long. When I became a pastor, many of my friends ran away because I will introduce Christ to you. I have I I was wayward then. I was a rapist. Mm. I was a rapist. I was a fornicator before. Though I, uh, writing from my childhood life, I do not like to drink. It was when I got to I and Susan before I started humanizing. I did not like that before. I involved in the examination of my practices before. Because I will write for people. Because there is nothing you could eat. I do such a things before. To make ends meet. To make, uh, to make my living. But when I became, when the Lord, when I, when I, when Christ met, when I met Christ, I became another thing. Because it is the difference is clear. I cannot compare myself with that. Because I cannot challenge which is there. I cannot speak anything about Christ. I cannot even speak to you. I was a cool-headed guy then, but now I became another thing. I became what Christ wants me to become. Then I like ladies before. I used to humanize. I used to humanize. I used to do such of the things. I need the money then. But now everything became dead to me. What I focus Christ only. You are my friend if you give your life to Jesus Christ. That is all. That is the only friend I have. Even though there are a certain set of people. When we started um, this ministry, I delivered a message about Baba Zola of his most holy mother day, Baba Zola of his thing. The message was not went well with them. There was a certain a gang of they prayed, they were praying against against the um, uh, Lord Sukimi. There were hundred prophets then because one of them came out to confess. Uh, confess. It was what I saw and I delivered to them. They were praying. And when an old man said, old man appeared to them and he scattered them. And one of them was, came to, con to confess. When one mother came then, there was a chief hunter called Lord by name. He wanted to establish a church there. 
And uh, we rent said an apartment that we should be launching a church there. And uh, we, ne we never knew that they are worshiping devil there. God of iron, they will pour oil. We were doing, and they said we will not stay. It was like he's shooting people on it. He will be, he will be shooting people. He will be shooting uh, the God. church. He will face the church and he will be shooting God there. And I said, I went there to meet the pastors. When I met them, he went, he, and he was saying, he's a priest. He will, uh, he will make sure he will refer to us as his analyst. <laughs> and I told him that God of wives going together with his wife. God of white warning is more powerful. And I said, let the God of white warning appear to him. And he will prove to you that he is the God of white warning. And the wife and the Lord cares both of them within a few times. So many people like that calling my name and the Lord will appear to them. Then I did not have such a power before. No one consulted me before. I have a new life now. I preach to the people. I became a father to people. Even to my colleagues, to, my, to the elders, I became a father to them because I have someone who is joining in me. Mm -hmm. Let me share a revelation to you that the Lord appears to me. On my dream, when I slept and I had a dream, and they, they, were, they were like shouting that there is a agent from heaven. The agent, there is a, major, a messenger from heaven that has appeared. There were ministers. There were many. There were many there. And I was like, how oh, agents of the Lord, messenger of the Lord appear without informing me. I was like saying it on the dream that I'm a president. They're supposed to have informed me. And I was running to the place. I was running to the place when I got there. And I met millions of pastors. There were many. They were, I cannot count them. And I, and I, I, and I look up and I saw the giant man, very giant compare. If they match every one of us who are here together, compare to the man, we cannot reach the half of the man. And I look at him and I said, "Are you the one they refer to as an agent of God, messenger of God?" And he didn't answer. And I said, if truly you are the messenger of God sent to this world, and I did not know you so, tell me what is happening in the, world, in, in, in the heavenly kingdom. He didn't answer me. And he, and he stood up. He came down. What baffled me was that when he stepped on the ground, everything would be shaken. The ground would be shaken. The ground would be shaken. So, uh, it will look as if there will be a network because it will, it will be digging the ground as he steps, he will be digging the ground. And, I, and as, he, as he was coming, he was using his back hand to shake the so called pastor. Many of them, they were sick. They were using the back hand to shake, to, to give themselves hand sick. And I was like, what is that? This kind of greeting. And I said, this, of course, it's. Of course, and I wanted to leave the place. When I saw him, he was like uh, affecting the leaves, giving them, teaching them how to use, use it. If you take this uh, app, you will use it. I said, you are not an agent of God. And I was going. When two, like, they were like angels, they are not, like, they are not tall the way the, the, the later one, the first one, the former one was tall. They, they stood uh, before me. They didn't allow me to go. And I said, let me go. They, they said, I will not go. I said, what is the matter? What have I done? They said, I have offended their master. And I said, who's your master? They said, I should look back. When I look back and I saw the former one that I saw before, and I look at him, and I said, in what way have I offended you? said, I'm giving the glory meant for him to another person. And I said, who are you? Are you Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Why are you the one being killed on the cross? Who are you? And, and, and they said, they will prove to me. And I said, Jesus. As I said, Jesus. They said, stop. Don't, call, don't mention that name. Don't mention that name. They were like closing their ear. They don't want to hear the name. And I said, allow me to go. They did not, and I said, 
the and as, as I call the presence of the curators, they were disappeared. The fire come, came down and they were disappeared. And the Lord told me, that is how many people got their power. He said the angels of darkness appear to be the angels of God. They said they appear to be the angels of God. He gave me such a revelation that made me different. Made me different. Before something happened, the Lord told me, He will reveal many things to me. And I saw that I will hear um, from, my, from, my, from my ear, my eyes, and some other thing. I use various channel to connect to God. Um, thank you for your time. And uh, okay, my, point, my question is yes, some pastor of Black like they, they are not worshipping money. In your own ministry, money is not the priority. Yes. But we all need money to to push some certain things. Yes. So is yeah, there are there some people who are barcoli like uh, uh, what is that now? That politician, that barcoli, uh, 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 So is there yeah, are, are there is there some people who are behind, behind the financial the, financially I mean, or uh, I know money can not fall that way. We need to run things in the church. Yes, we need money, need money to uh, run things. Yes. So, how has it been? Is there, has there been any challenges or with doing things with money? And has people been supporting? I want to thank God. Out of the doctrine given to us, there is a particular doctrine that says we should not do a fund business. Okay. It's not raise money, it's not force people. And in the church, if you want to contribute, there, there will be a box you will go and drop the money. Uh, there, you should not show off. That's what this church is on. If you are doing something, when uh, you are doing it for God, not me. It's God that will reward you. Uh, it's God that, is, that has been backing us, backing us up. Uh, God is so merciful. Let me search, let me share a scenario to you before. I answered the question properly. When I got the ministry, there was nothing to eat. Uh, everything scatters. I went to the mountain and I was praying that, Lord, I want to eat and there's nothing I could eat. And he said, He will provide for me. And someone called me and gave me money. There was a time someone called me. If very, very close to me. Then when I receive authority, I don't know, I didn't know how to use authority then. When you come and say, Lord, declare money to his own accounts. That's what I did sometimes. Not only the Lord if some certain revelations to me. Someone called me from Milan. And he called. And I said, because I've many of them have called before. When they called, they saw uh, I will say, Lord will declare money onto their accounts, and they will be so. There will be money like a miracle money in the court. Then that's what I used to do. Then I command the money. Then I pray, Lord, do this. That's I used to do is okay. Sometimes when you follow, uh, then that was then because I was like they really, I was, know how to, you I didn't know how to power. use. I just I was just using the power. I was just anyhow. And, uh, anyhow. and uh, uh, the man called, and I said, he said I'm a student. I have someone who can help me. The, and I said. With a lot of surprise, you the money should go into your account. They were giving him money, giving him money. A lot of people. But that was a day. A day comes when someone called me. When he called me, he said, Pastor, please pray for me that the Lord will increase my work. I need money. I don't know how the God domesticated. And I said, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, declare, and the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw him use him so glass soap to bath. And I said, What are you doing for a living? He said in your bad language, Yahoo, I said, What <laughs> did you say? He said, Yahoo, you are doing Yahoo, and you have God to call me. And I said, Your life is spoiled. You have God to call me. He said, That's how pastor used to do. We call them and they will pray for us. And I said, This is not this is not my it's not my thing. I'm not the one. There are many things you can do, and that God can enrich you. Yeah. If the Lord can enrich those who are not 
uh, uh, in, in, in that way, they can enrich you too. Yeah. If the devil can enrich them, the Lord can bless you. Sure. That's what I used to do. But when the ministry began, the Lord started blessing people. We faced some certain challenges. The Lord started blessing people. And people started coming in, coming in, increasing. Those people who the Lord ministered to, they will not, they will not do so. They will only come and bless the ministry. They bless the church. Voluntary. For long period. Nobody forced them. You know, I told you, the, the creator said, you should not collect a cobble. If I pray for you, if I pray for you now, Lord, should do this. If you, you want to give me something, I will not collect it. You can only do it immediately. Maybe when the Lord bless you, and the Lord now ministers to you that you should go and do this. It's the Lord that will minister to you, not me. That's all. We, you, we should not collect a cup. It's, 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 it's part of our doctrine that if the Lord bless someone and you collect money, money in money in the reward of that thing, the leprosy of uh, that person will come. Lama will come to the earth. That was what the Lord said. But the Lord has been increasing us. People come from overs, from others, though that the Lord has blessed home to enrich the force of the church, to spread the tentacle of the church. That is it. And at, and, at the, and at the same time, we have those who are walking around us. We are walking, we are walking, and some business. So it's the state Lord of the nation. When everybody is complaining about Nigeria and all that, the president, the economy, you foresee any good things coming out of this country, anything, especially 2023. Yes. Anything good is it coming from this country? You foresee anything. Do you see? Did God, God, did God tell you anything yeah, about yeah. Nigeria becoming uh, uh, great again? Uh, I want to say this. We free, we free, uh, release so many revelations because part of this ministry based on prophecy. If you have been following us, you will see that we release messages, prophecies, and some other than Nigeria is a great country. To be precise, God knows about that. But the former father of this country. They are the covenant with the devil. Majority of those people who have been living, they seek from the devil, they connect from the devil, and the devil need to take something in returns. That's what we don't know. The devil takes something in returns. Majority of them, they came to power by cook way, by the blood. They killed many people. And they need to give back to where they took from. from. They need that the first aspect. That's what in the second aspect, when the before Buhari came to power, we I released a message, and I said between Buhari and the opponents, none God did not touch, uh, God did not touch any one of them, and I said, but your leader will touch for you. No matter anyone that enter, you should be explain, you will experience, you will expect it, soul rings. So hey, that was what the Lord told me, and we release it then. That's all. And later on, we pray to God. The Lord says, "If I will say to this, I will send this nation for better. They need to move closer to me. But your leader don't know Christ. They don't know God. They don't know God. The leader of this country don't know God. And the and the followers, majority of them, they don't know God. If you want God to intervene, you are." Being, but it leads you to be ruling, rule for yourself. You need my intervention, you call me, but you don't call God to ask them. Nigeria will be great again. Nigeria will be great again. You know, the Lord said, the Lord told me, you know, I, we spoke about the, this country being divided, and I said, it's not yet time. You, whoever wants to divide this country, many will die in that cause. The Lord said, they will use their blood. We use their blood, we use many people for sacrifice because it is not yet time for this country to be divided. To be divided. The, the Lord is, is still going to take, it's going to avenge the death of many people. There will still be many, many things that will happen. But many of these uh, uh, Politicians. women uh, artifice, okay, artifice. Who, who are fighting for the right. who are breaking of the country will be killed. Many of them will be locked up. Many will survive, but many will lose their life. Many will see. We will release it. 
before. We are still releasing it. Many will be locked up. Many will be killed. Many will be used uh, uh, for sacrifice. But many will make it to the promised land. Many will make it, made it to the promised land. But because many, fight, many are fighting for the cause. Many are not fighting for the cause. They are fighting for their post. But you will be running after them. But they are fighting for their post. We released the message of 2020. We said that there will be a lot of calamity. The various sickness diseases will show up and some other things like that. And uh, this year also. But coming here, the Lord is proceeding. The prophecy is in two phases. The first thing the Lord says is going to bless those who run after him. The Lord is going to reward many. The Lord still have the, uh, his own in the country. There are many. They are beloved. Beloved are many. There be a lot of calamity in the world. Many, those people who, the politicians, many of them will be removed, even throughout the federations. We do know who you let consider in uh, I will answer that in two phases because of what the law refers to me. Talking about the antecedents of Tinubu, the law can never switch him. Because the Lord, though the Lord lost him, he's a beloved. The Lord wants to use him, but if it goes, if it goes. But if Tinubu can amend, the Lord can still use him. Because you cannot predict God. Before he said, Tinubu have dined and wine with those people who are not in line with Christ, but there are still going to be a riot in the noble camps. There is still going to be a riot in his camp. But it now depends if he moves to God and surrender everything unto him as an exchange from bad to good perspective. He has something, he has an hidden agenda. Tinubu has an hidden agenda. If he can for forgo that agenda god is ready to use him but if he still has that in plan he will not be picked <coughs> that's all because the lord has revealed many revelations to me concerning that in the book i released parts and uh, i kept parts i kept part. you see many many of those people who are seeking for the uh, elective. leadership elective post will be will not see the light of the day many May the, may the many will be locked up when we die. The some calamity will happen to some certain sort of people, but the Lord has his own. And we go, there will be there will still be famine, okay? The famine, the famine in the combination, there will be famine and some other things like that. So, you are from Mother Kete, and uh, you've mentioned your father, you did not mention your mother, and Sunday go away from Mother Kete. They believe those people have uh, all these Jews. You know, so you know. you may, maybe you have swallowed one, one thing that is making all these miracles to happen. Sunday Bo cannot dare go to the market and challenge witches and witches because he got his own power from there. Okay. Sunday Bo has no power. He has no power. He has no power. I went to the, some radio. I, I said, there is no power in your land. And if they have power, let them silence me spiritually. I release a message to us. If you watch our live video, and I told them many of these activists will be arrested. That was when they arrested Sunday Bo. That was what I said. Because they be they don't believe in Christ Jesus. They believe in supernatural power in the, uh, the which is not supernatural power, a black power, black power that can deceive you at any time. That's all. You said you can command gun. That is not power because there are certain set of people who do it for you, who know more than you. But that is not in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. I went to Moraike uh, Palace. I went to deliver the message to them. Before uh, uh, their first, uh, their um, uh, last of all, uh, Oba, when Ogusa was there, the Lord sent me to that place. The Lord said he wants to kill many people. And then we start from the, this palace. I delivered the message. And he told me, let the Lord do. Let the Lord kill what he, 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 he wants to kill. He never knew that the Lord will start from him. I went to the crusade in Moraike town. 
We heard a crusade, and Lord told me that I've reappointed a new of us. And I declared that Lord said, I came to my voice in this time. The Lord said, I've nominated, I've given you a new of us. A new of us in this town. On the second day, they went and brought him out. That come and see you. He's still alive. Oh. Before that man, son to an end, he died. We went there. They, they also called me negative. We went there. You know, in Morocco, they like when they want to, if you go there, when they want to judge a matter, they like to be cousin. He said, come and, come and do what's, uh, come and swear. Swear, swear. Come and swear you do not do it. Someone introduced, someone invited us, and I told them, there is no power. You cannot kill, you kill, you kill uh, elephants, and you remove the teeth of elephants, you put it on the ground, and say someone should be swear on it. If elephant is alive, will you be able to remove the teeth? You won't be able to remove, you only want to kill. When you are now talking about the power that is in Sandebo, you want to kill Sandebo, you only need to pray for him. If you want to kill him, compare him with Christ Jesus. If you want to pick him, compare him with God. Just a fucking just a, a, a mere human being. Someone like you who seeks for power. Sunday bow is just sent by God. But you need to bow down for Christ Jesus. Don't compare Sunday bow with anointed, anointed man of God. Even if it is little. That's all. So Related to that, to so, oh, my you, parents, you said. Yes, your mom. Uh, uh, both of them. I'm not from Morake. <laughs> I'm from Jerusalem. Okay. I'm from Jerusalem. Okay. There was a revelation I saw. They were we, calling my we name. Jesus my dad, Christ. We came from Nazareth. We know he, Maria and the. And father, now the father, my father. parents. So, the, the, my carnal parents. Yes, that's. Uh -huh. You yeah. talk about the. My guidance. Yeah. Those who guide me. Uh, yeah, Jesus Christ is my everything. Yes. The uh, you know, I said, the person that gave birth to the one that died. Okay. I'm a new creator now. Yes, okay, okay. The one, the one that died, you want to talk about. Okay. The one that gave birth to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them are from Morake. But this one. This, this one is your mom still alive. Both of them are alive. How is your mom relating to you now? <laughs> he used to call me prophets. I'm a man of God. So he used to call me the way, you know, one's mother in your uh, mother in your life is different from your father in your life. Uh, Even when you become other, your mother will kneel down for you. If your father will go on the exile. So, how has your mom? No, yeah, let me talk about the relationship. The relationship have, between uh, your mother and, and, and yes. We have a uh, cordial relationship, but not by default. Okay. Uh, they are not used to me. But we normally call a good year. Uh, let me, uh, to, as regard to what you said, uh, you know, when the Lord gave me the power, He said I should not pause for anyone. Okay. I should not pause for it. It's not that if I pause, it's the power will go. It's not like that. And I thought the power will not go to you, it gets very crazy. Because I'm not myself, again. Christ is the one that joined me. The two things will happen. The first thing, the person might die. The second thing, don't expect such a person to prosper again. Mm. Because he has here the glory of God. That's why when I became, when I had such a revelation, I started running away That's from God, avoiding my father then, mm. before, and he knew. And he said there is no problem with that, that he knew. Because when I, when I want to marry, because I have a little delay, then, then, in my, in my, uh, uh, in my in-laws, I did not push it. I stand up. I told them, if you are to hold, you know why? You hold it. But the Lord said, I should not pray for anyone. That's all. We have to call the other person. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. You still need to meet me.